algorithms are as important and change our culture as much and something that we really need to understand and explore. And as artists, that's surely what we do. I think a perfect wisdom <laughs> that is exactly put together. Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. And I'm very excited to welcome pioneer Ernest Edmonds and artist Rafiq Anadol. And today we're talking about algorithmic art. Algorithmic art is a way of making art that utilizes computational technology to create small formulas that do big things. Ernest, you first started making computational art in 1968. How would you introduce yourself to people watching today? I guess I happened accidentally upon algorithms and discovered back in those days that here was a future for art and a new area in which to mine how we could make art and what art could be. It's a way of dealing with the underlying structures that define the art. And these require mathematical procedures to organize them, but it has a new importance to it because the algorithm has been the basis of the development of the computer. That's a great segue uh, to turn to Rafiq. You've been exploring and expanding this world of algorithmic art for quite some time, but how would you introduce yourself to the world? I'm a media artist and practicing last almost 14 years. Um, 2008, learn about a software called Pure Data. It was a very humble software where you can simply connect a sensor and visualize the invisible patterns of like distance. Based on my research, it was one of the first um, term that was representing the invisible patterns of sensor real time, transforming Fourier signals into a three dimensional point and line geometry. It was kind of finding a space beyond that two dimension. Super. And just picking up on that, would either of you have any questions uh, for each other since you're here today? I can still say that even now, some people even ask the question, can really algorithmic art is an art? And it's so exciting to see that such a pioneer question you asked back in time still being discussed. And I'm so excited to be here with you today. Thank you very much. And it's great that it's possible that we can be together today, that things have moved forward. It's quite true that when I started on this route, it was hard to get people to believe that the kind of work that I was doing was art. Today, fortunately, there is a bit of a shift and you're an extremely good example of that. My question to you is, did you explore art without the computer? Oh, it's an amazing question. I would say no, because I was eight years old when I get my first computer, Commodore 128. And I clearly remember that enjoying computation as an imagination, like extending the space as a game, like that, that striking, you know, <laughs> meeting with a friend kind of thinking that never disappeared. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.